Hi, we're doing another live, not live. We're going to record this live. We're not going to chop it up and edit it. You're going to see it as it's recorded, but we can't really live stream it. We're in LA at the moment. We're with the amazing Sarah Fable. <laughs> and so I met Sarah first. She was living in Australia. She'd just yeah. moved to Melbourne, I think, was the first time I met her. And she liked it. You contacted me, didn't you? I think so, because I loved your photos. Yeah, so, yeah, I just said uh, the blue, she contacted me, and I don't, don't think I actually even knew who you were until you contacted me. Then I saw you and thought, oh my God, <laughs> this girl looks amazing. I started photographing her before you even had your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so you only had a little bit of ink. I had uh, some of it, but I think, like, finishing, no, I didn't have my, like, hands. You didn't have your hands, because you had, you did, I've got shots of you without your hands done. Yeah. So anyway, strange to me. We, we had a lot of fun on the first shoot and we just shot whenever we both had a bit of time and yeah. we did the odd com commercial job, the Kiss Kill. Yeah. Then she decided she hated Australia <laughs> and, and came to America. She is an unbelievable artist as well as an incredible tattoo artist. So she's absolutely amazing. Check her out, Instagram, Facebook, all those things. And she's about to start a YouTube channel, which will be really cool. And this is not an ad for her. I'm just really excited to shoot her. And I'm excited to hear here. <laughs> so with this, we, we've just been out. We shot in a, a beautiful park. What were the parks called? Um, uh, Huntington Gardens and Libraries. Yeah, and got kicked out because you're not allowed to shoot in there. Um, but we've come back here. She showed me this. This is her bedroom. Sorry, Sarah, everyone's seeing your bedroom. <laughs> we're just going to use that single window light. We've got a beautiful grey wall. She did have something hanging on it before, so we've just pulled that off. We've opened up a curtain over that side to get some side light. I'm shooting with a Hasselblad with a 80mm lens on it today. I'm tethering down to my laptop. Um, we're screen recording that too, so we can show you in the pictures. I've taken one single test frame of the wall just to see my ballpark. And we're not going to shoot for very long, so it won't take me long with Sarah. She's pretty cool. So she's now adopted America, so now she wants a cool photo with the American flag. Yes! She's really your finish, isn't it? What's your yes, finish? Yes, fin finish. Finish, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just going to see us start and finish the shoot in about five, ten minutes. Yep. Um, if she does, if the thing does fall off, that will be edited out. Yeah. Right, so literally, what all I'm looking at now is I've already, even with my eyes, I can see I really, really like the light in here. So now I'm just looking at my exposure. Now we are a little bit dark. Um, I'm seeing at eight, uh, 800 ISO. I'm at 2.8, shooting at a hundredth, I think. Yeah, shooting at a hundredth of a second. Um, my gut feeling this is a little bit too dark. Yeah, I'd like to push it to there. So there's two things I could do. I could push my ISI up, which is going to bring in a little bit of noise, which I'm actually thinking that's the way I'm going to go because I actually like that slightly grainy look because it feels more like film and less like digital, and I'm not a lover of that digital look. <coughs> so I'm just going to jump up to 1600 ISO, and I'm going to pull down to 2.8. And I think that will give me the exposure I want for this. Cool. Yeah, let's brought my histogram up into this middle area. So that's perfect. My warnings are turned on, the whites aren't going off. So that's absolutely perfect for what I'm looking at. If I just quickly zoom in on it. Right, the, you'll see, see how nothing is super razor sharp because that's that emulsion of the going to a higher ISO, but then it makes it this beautiful filmic look. So we'll get that nice grain. I'm now going to set it up for my eyes. So I'm very quickly just going to move a couple of things around. I'm going to shoot in grey scale, but I'm going to do, Sarah's going to want a colour photo and a black and white. So I'm going to shoot, shoot both. But for me, to, for me to get my emotion, I'm going to drop it into a grey scale. I think I should be on green channel by memory. I'll just make sure I am. I'm just going to put a very slight down curve let me turn that on. Just up in the top end to get that chromia skin. So it's going to chrome up the skin. A bit of the clarity and a tiny bit of contrast. And that's popping up really nicely. So now that I've got the look I want, I'm happy with the light. I'm very happy with the model. We would normally have music on, but we can't with 
the copyright and YouTube and things like that. So now we're just going to shoot and you're going to see start to finish of a shoot. So it won't take us long. So one of the things with Sarah, the very first time I shot with Sarah, she didn't look at the camera. She would never look at the camera. She'd always look away, gaze away, look down. And she was always pretty. Every shot was pretty. But I never got to see her soul. So what did you say about the third shoot we ever done? I started really pestering you about, yeah. I want a face shot. You have to yeah. stare at the camera. You have to look into the camera. I actually want to see your soul. Sneak up to me just a tiny bit and then sneak back a bit. Yeah, that's nice. I like the depth to the wall. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, that's really pretty cool. So there's two different shots we're going to get. We're going to get the shot that Sarah likes because she already knows the poses, she knows her face, she knows what she likes and how she likes herself. And then she'll give me some eyes and I'll get my shot. Cool, beautiful, that's really nice. That's stunning, that's really cool. Cool. Like, I feel like it's like gonna be too blocky. Yeah, no, no, so, I, so and your beautiful ink, come on. Yes. Stunning, cool. That's the whole thing. We only need a little bit of flag, but <coughs> your incredible artwork, yeah, that's special. We need, that's gotta be in the shot. Otherwise people think you, who they think you are. Um, what was her name? Oh, oh what? What ketchup? Oh, Otherwise, I'll ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you mistake me for ketchup. Like, yeah. I don't know anything in your face. Cool. That's lovely. That's really pretty. That's stunning. Cool. 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 That's really cool. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's stunning. I'm just gonna mm-hmm. play it up just a fraction. And we'll redesign her house a little bit. I'm just going to move up a bit close to the light, and I'm going to move. That's right. You just, you just break the house. <laughs> He's trying to get a good angle to film. You stole my spot. I'm seeing the food delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, come across that way just a little bit. I want to see. No, nah, no. Nah. This light off the floor is like Blair Witch. So yeah. I'll just go back to where it was. <coughs> I just sort of get a little bit more glow. But we're nearly finished. We're actually not far from finished and we've got some Italian food coming in a minute. Cool, it's really pretty. That's really pretty. Stunning. Do you want to take one more step down that way? Yeah, cool. Just so I can get a little bit lower. Cool. That's really pretty. Nice, nice. Stunning. Cool, that's really pretty. Now just one thing, I get a lot of people asking me about focusing. Pretty much if you see my camera do this little up and down motion, you know I'm just doing a focus. But if I come in here now, I get a focus on her eye. I've shot all those shots with that, is that our food? Is that our food? Yep. yep. Cool. Well, we're finished. That's a shoot yeah. start and finished. Our Italian food's just turned up. Hope you enjoyed it. So just a little quickie, we just thought we'd have a bit of fun. Um, Like I said, Sarah's got an awesome channel about to come out soon and you're gonna read bedtime stories or something live, aren't you? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) so um, you'll see some pictures. I'll put put up a couple of, you'll see some stop frames come up during the shoot. Well, you would have seen it. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, Beck, say goodbye. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, I'm just I don't have makeup on and I feel gross today. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I am here. It was nice to film for you guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time.